In this video, we are going to prove that there is no integer that is both even and odd. So for this, we are going to use now a uh, proof by contradiction. So we're going to suppose not. So that means we are going to assume that there is an integer that is both even and odd. Both even and odd. So that means then that we have that there exists some integer, let's call it n for this, n which is an integer, um, that is both even and odd. That is both even and odd. So now, from this we know that since n is even, we can express n as 2 times some other number. So in this case, let's say 2 times k, where k is an integer. By the definition of an even number. By the definition of an even number. Likewise, by the definition of an odd number, by the definition of an odd number, we can express n now as 2 times some integer plus 1, where that some other integer m is an integer. Then we do not know what that integer is, but that's fine. So because now we have two different um, equations for n, we can now say that by substitution, By substitution, we have we will now have now, let's see we're going to have 2 times k equaling to 2m plus 1. But then we could simplify this a little bit. We can subtract over this 2m. So by subtraction, two k minus two m equals one. But then that can simplify down a bit more. Um, 
factoring yields two times k minus m is equal to one. But then Since 2 is a non-zero number, we could divide by 2. So by division, k minus m is equal to 1 half. But since Since k and m are both integers, we know that k minus m has to be an integer since the integers are closed under subtraction. It's closed. under subtraction. But this leads to a contradiction because we just got the difference being one half, which is not an integer. So this is a contradiction. This contradicts k minus m is an integer. Thus, since we got that contradiction, we can now say that it's true that no integer is both even and odd. So no integer integer spelling is helpful. Integer is even and odd at the same time. Thank you.